Today, let's see how from this LED tube made of DMX matrix can become a real fixture with light beam. As a reminder, please check previous video explaining how to UV map correctly this model. As a reminder, this model is UV mapped like that. Let's open the asset builder which will be used to create our fixture. For that, open your window, then search for assets. You will find the program which is pre-installed with Depends. The Asset Builder interface will come as it is here. So go to File, New Asset and Fixture Asset. It will open a new full Fixture Asset. Here it's the default Asset Builder view. So I will not pass through all of views, we just want to create our fixture. So first let's import our 3D model done previously. So select LED tube as material so it doesn't change like in Depends, that's the same way to do. Then move the default material generated under the fixture, delete the over node which is useless. Now add a light spot source here and move it under the default material. As we are on the light, we can enable it and then go to the photometric items. Click edit and from here we will set the default photometric values. So we'll do a fluid beam value for the moment and then readjust LEDs is more or less 120 degrees, something which is cold and change the shape from circular to rectangular. You can close it. Then on the default material we need to change it from PBR material to light emitter material. That's done. Okay, now let's define our LEDs. So from light object, click then LED editor. And from here, we will define our LEDs. So click the plus, we have 20 pixels as defined in the 3D model. Then change the shape of the LED from circular to rectangular. Here, the width size is 05, and the height is one, which is the full height of the UV. Then we have 20 pixels in one row. So we have defined all our LEDs at once. From now on, we need to create a new DMX mode. So for that, click Fixture Mode, New Mode. Within this new mode, we will add a RGB control per pixel. So inside the auto scene here, change it to 8 byte, group per LED. We can close now this window. And we can see that it has created a RGB control per pixel with the right assignment inside. What we will do is select everything to have the highlight option work here properly. So blackout enable, we have to switch it to true. And the same for the highlight. So I will display now the programmer window. Move it back here. And select the fixture to just make a simple check if it is lighting up or not. So it seems to work correctly. So from now on, I can check just some small LEDs like that to see if it is working as it should. Yes. So from now on, let's add a name. So manufacturer, it will be led for our example, asset name tube. I will add a prepared thumbnail, this one. So like this, it will be easier to find the fixture inside the library. Then file, save, and you can save with the name you want. So I will overwrite the fixture you have already done previously. Yes. From depends now, I will light up everything, delete the one I have created previously. And here, from library, current open asset, where I have stored my, full, my fixture, I can refresh it to be sure that it is the right one because I have overwrite my latest fixture. Click on it and just insert it. So as any other fixture. Then from patching to reuse the same command I have used for the DMX matrix, I will patch them as an overwritten of the DMX matrix. This one, okay, with overlapping. Yeah, good. So, I can go back from the programmer, 
try to lighting up and from now I can see already the result. With this picture I see some lights and if I'm hiding it, there is no light with the previous one. So that's fine, that's working correctly. If I'm doing a simple effect here with maximum, minimum and then from the section tool do something like that, increase the speed and the phase we can see it's working correctly with light emitting. Have fun!